uh, respected judges and uh, the audience. Uh, I'm Dr. K.S. Kumar and I'm in solo practice. I don't have a series of cases. Instead, I have a very instructive case. Uh, I don't have any financial disclosures to make. The subject of my presentation is a 10-year-old boy who presented with a history of blunt trauma to the right eye with a tennis ball uh, way back in 2008. He was treated for traumatic uh, uveitis and later he underwent a transconjunctival cryo for an inferior nasal dialysis without detachment. But he was noted to have persistent hypotony and disc edema with hypotonic maculopathy in the right eye. An ultrasound biomicroscopy was done elsewhere. No ciliocoroidal detachment was seen and there was also no evidence of cyclodialysis cleft as reported by the people who did the uh, UBM. So the patient was put on intensive prednisolone acetate suspension eye drops as well as atropine eye drops twice a day for the next four to six weeks. Uh, Periocular steroids in the form of triamcinolone acetonide was also given in February 2008 with no improvement in his uh, intraocular pressure. The pressures continued to remain low and hypotonic maculopathy persisted for almost now two months. Repeat UBM was not contributory and there was no evidence of any anterior chamber inflammation. So the question, uh, this was the optic disc picture showing a, a disc edema and hypotonic maculopathy. The question was what to do at this stage. So we were really at our wit's ends so we decided to go ahead and do an encerclage with a 240 silicon band, which, is, which has a width of 2.5 mm. The anterior margin was placed right behind the recti insertions. After an intraoperative gonioscopy was done to fill the AC with viscoelastics and pylocarpine to see if there was any uh, uh, cyclodialysis cleft, but we couldn't make out any intraoperatively. Another thing that we decided to do was to excise the steroid lump in the optimistic hope that the intraocular pressure will build up and the steroid lump should not cause uh, increased IOP. So this was a, this is a diagrammatic representation of what we did. We did, we put a mattress suture in each quadrant and then did a band tie in one of the quadrants. Post procedure, the intraocular pressure improved to 14 millimeters mercury with resolution of fundus signs. These are the sequential photos of the fundus showing normalization of the retinal uh, architecture. So post traumatic hypotony can be due to a cyclodialysis cleft or a ciliocoroidal detachment or uveitis. Atropine has been tried as a first line management as a conservative method for up to nearly two months. The other things described are cryotherapy to the area of the cleft, intravitreal gas, vitrectomy, plombage, which we did in our case. And there is a case report of a CTR ring being put in the sulcus as well. So two years later, the patient developed a cataract that was of course successfully managed with uh, cataract surgery and 14 years on the patient is doing very well. So in conclusion, an encircling belt buckle which is purely extraocular is a plausible option in refractory ocular hypotony, particularly in cases such as ours where we don't have a definite cause identified. So this acts more like a blanket treatment to occlude a possible cyclodialysis cleft. And more importantly, it avoids the need for any intraocular procedures. Thank you very much for your patient here. Just a minute, one more presenter is here, I think, just a minute. But maybe the cause, it will also... It is most probably a cyclodialysis cleft only that could not be identified. Because uh, identification of a cyclodialysis cleft, particularly if it is just a pinpoint cleft, is very difficult in the presence of a hypotonous globe itself. So in the, in the collapse state, the cleft may not show up on an UBM. And again, the UBM is also... Uh, sensitivity is dependent on the you on the person yes, doing yes, it. Yes, I agree. Yes. So there excellent, are so many excellent, excellent case, excellent. But only disadvantage is only one single case. But we had yes, yeah, yes, but yes. we had no other option in this case. As a last Fine. throw of Fine. the dice, we decided to do an encircling. Fine.